and good morning students so today we are going to start sampling so what is meant by sampling so the continuous signal is converted into discrete signal means by use of sampling only it can convert x of t is represented by a continuous signal and x of n can be represented by discrete signal so that x of t should be converted into x of n is uh, nothing but sampling uh, continuous signals are digitized using digital computers so when we can sample we calculate the value of continuous signal at uh, discrete points how fast it is a sample and what is the values of each point and the quantization determines the values of each uh, sample's value let x of t is the continuous time signal that we should sample so let y of t is equal to x x of t is equal to x of t into t of t to be the sampled signal so then if x of t is equal to y of t which is equal to summation k which is equal to minus infinity plus infinity and x of t into uh, del of t minus kt which is equal to summation k which is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of k is equal to del of k, uh, k minus t minus kt that uh, let omega not be the sampling frequency and um, x is of omega which is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into x of omega into omega is uh, summation k into del of omega minus k omega s and omega uh, pi divided by 2 pi let uh, omega k x of omega minus k omega naught which is equal to 1 by t summation k into x of omega minus k omega s note that omega v is equal to bandwidth that if the signal is overlapped to avoid aliasing so according to the sampling omega s minus omega b less than omega b is occurs and omega s minus omega b greater than omega b or omega s less, uh, greater than omega 2 omega b and um, omega s greater than 2 omega b that is nothing but sampling theorem next slide shows the discrete time for a transform so, so uh, in likely we only have access to finite amount of data sequence so after sampling uh, uh, recall the continuous time for a transform we can signal is sampled assuming discrete time for a transform and x s of t lies between n is uh, summation n which is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of n t into e power minus j n omega t so here x n of t which is equal to x of n so here omega which is equal to omega t x of omega which is equal to summation n which is equal to minus infinity plus infinity and x of n into e power minus j omega n and x of n which is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi and integration 2 pi x of omega e power omega uh, n into d omega and uh, x of omega which is equal to summation n which is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of n into e power minus j omega n that is f naught dt f t x of n which is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi so integration 2 pi and uh, integration 2 by x of omega e power minus j omega into d omega a few points uh, dtft is uh, periodic in a sequence uh, with periodic f 2 pi x of n is a uh, discrete signal so, dtft follows to find out the spectrum of the signal and viewed from a window and uh, example of convolutions so convolution means what so the multiplication in time domain is nothing but frequency I mean uh, convolution in time domain is nothing but multiplication in frequency domain and uh, uh, so x of n which is equal to summation k which is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x uh, x naught of n minus k n which is equal to summation k which is equal to minus n to n and x n of n into del of n minus k into n which is equal to x naught of n convolute summation k which is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity del of n minus k n and this will result x of n which is equal to x naught of n into p of n and it gives x naught of and uh, x naught of omega into p omega which is equal to x of omega and p of n which is equal to summation k which is equal to minus infinity plus infinity del of n minus k n lies between 2 pi by n and uh, summation k which is equal to minus infinity plus infinity del of uh, omega minus 2 pi k by n which is equal to p of omega uh, thus x of omega which is equal to x naught of omega into 2 pi pi n into summation k into del of n minus 2 pi k by n which is equal to 2 pi k 2 pi by n summation k into x naught of 2 pi k by n 
and uh, uh, del of n my omega minus 2 pi pi k by n and x of n which is equal to 1 by n summation k which is equal to n minus 1 and x naught of 2 pi k by n into r power e power 2 uh, pi j n naught divided by n and finding the sequence dtft of x of n x of omega which is equal to summation n which is equal to minus infinity n and uh, x naught of n into e power minus j omega naught omega which is equal to summation n which is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and x naught of n into e power minus j omega naught omega uh, x of omega which is equal to x of omega into x naught of omega 2 pi pi n into summation k which is equal to minus infinity plus infinity uh, del of omega minus 2 pi k by n and uh, 2 pi by n which is equal to summation k which is equal to minus infinity plus infinity is n x naught of 2 pi pi k by n into del of omega minus 2 pi k by n find x of uh, omega where uh, x of n which is equal to a power n into u of n and modulus of a less than 1 what is uh, modulus of a greater than 1 example a and b find x of omega where x of n which is equal to a into modulus of n which is equal to a lies between 0 to 1 what is uh, what, is, what if modulus of a greater than 1 and y of n which is equal to a power n into u of minus n and modulus of a greater than 1 to find y of omega and this uh, table this slide shows the table of the discrete for a transform and transform and uh, um, omega and this this is also the same and a discrete time for a transform uh, we often do uh, have an infinite amount of data which is required by DTFT for example in a computer we cannot uh, the calculated uncountable infinite uh, duration frequency of required uh, by DTFT so thus we uh, use DTFT uh, to lock it finite uh, segment of data so we only observe the data through a window x o of n which is equal to x of n into omega r of n and omega r of n which is equal to 1 n which is equal to 0 n to n minus 1 and which is equal to 0 otherwise and x of k which is equal to x naught of 2 pi k by n uh, for omega which is equal to 2 pi k divided by n into k which is equal to 0 1 to up to n minus 1 that is only look at the n described samples frequency of x e of omega so note that is in the case of uh, points are uh, spaced to p by n thus the resolution of the samples of frequency spectrum is uh, to p by n and we can think that uh, dft as x of k which is equal to summation k which is equal to n minus 1 x of n into omega n into k n k which is equal to 0 n up to n minus 1 and x of k which is equal to x naught of omega into omega which is equal to 2 pi k by n k which is equal to 0 n to n minus 1 and uh, summation n which is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n into e power minus j into uh, omega n in omega which is equal to 2 pi by n into k which is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and uh, summation k which is n which is equal to 0 to k minus 1 and uh, x of n into e power minus j into two pi j n k which k which is equal to zero to n minus one that omega n and that omega n which is equal to e power minus j two pi n which is equal to n root of unity omega n power n which is equal to 1 since omega n n to the v power minus j 2 pi which is equal to 1 so you may also write v, uh, v n simply as v omega uh, then x of k which is equal to summation n which is equal to n minus 1 and x of n which is equal to omega k into n which is equal to k uh, which is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and uh, uh, summation x of k which is equal to summation n which is equal to n minus 1 and e e power minus j n naught k by n into uh, whole power n which is equal to summation n which is equal to 0 to n minus 1 into omega k power n.
and the inverse uh, DTF is nothing but uh, x of n which is equal to 1 divided by n into summation k which is equal to 0 to n minus 1 that is x of k into omega k n into minus km where n which is equal to 0 1 up to n minus 1 note that k which is equal to 0 to n minus 1 omega n into k into l minus 1 which is equal to n which is equal to l equal to 1 and which is equal to 0 l not equal to n so and uh, inverse and dt ft is nothing but the discrete time for a transform pair so that's all about uh, so this topic so thank you students